Hello and welcome. So, let's talk about Anthem. Just as a heads up and a little guider to this, I will be probably, well, mostly comparing some parts to it to Destiny. And I am an avid Destiny player, and yes, that is probably why I'm most interested in Anthem. But, let's start off with, let's get out of the way. The launch of this demo, like, release to the world was not very good. It's safe to say. I was one of the people who couldn't even load it on Friday when it came out. Even with the extra server capacity which they added, but you know. I played it eventually, and it still had problems, so let's get into that. The bad. Infinite loading is a thing, and is an absolute pain in the arse. There is a way around it, which is literally you go and start an expedition or whatever, a mission. It, you get caught in infant loading. Just close it, reload it, and it says, do you want to rejoin what you were doing before? And you click yes. Two. And there isn't many bad things that I've found so far. To be fair though, two, the hob is... I don't like the hob. Tartarus or whatever it's called you feel real slow in it because there's no sort of sprint or anything so you just have to walk around it which means that certain parts in like the story like we saw in the demo where it's like time sensitive and it's like oh he could be dying and stuff like that you just casually walking around or so you casually go have conversations with people but that's story stuff and we don't have enough of that to complain about it yet so but yeah the hub feels kind of slow. Also, the performance in the hub is a bit off. It's a bit choppy and motion blurry and... Mm, it's, it's not good. Also, the fact that you can't just fast travel into the world. Unless you get dragged by your party member. Um, and you have to go straight to your javelin and then launch it. Oh, that might just be me being used to Destiny, where you literally just pull out your ghost and, like, go to orbit or go to any activity as soon as you want. So, hey-ho. The good! And surprisingly, there's actually quite a bit of good for me coming from this. First off, it controls actually quite well. The transition between um, flying, hovering, combat on the ground and all that is quite nice very snappy and responsive as it should be it's not held back by anything and by the time the full game comes out there might be more weapon variety i'm only saying that now because from every single drop that i was getting it was like here's an assault rifle again it's one more power than the last one here's a shotgun there wasn't many variations in the weapons that i could see or feel or all that much Saying that though, the javelins from the two that I did play, which was like the standard basic, basic bitch recruit sort of thing, and then the interceptor, I think it's called, the slashy stabby one, there was a noticeable difference in armor and speed and how they play and stuff, which is kind of what Destiny was trying to do with like Hunter's Warlocks and Thingy, but I feel as though it's got a much wider variety here. One of the most surprising things is, and I'm just going to preface this by saying I haven't been watching any of the developer streams. So getting my hands on the customization was... I'm going to spend a lot of time in there just making sure things are right or I get the right material with stuff. How I want my javelin, I almost called it a mech, my javelin to look and behave. Well, not behave, but... It feels as though it's the player choice, play customization and stuff is going to be a lot more of a focus in this. And just the thing I did see that on Twitter, I don't know how reliable it is, that there probably will be microtransactions for some of the um, extra parts, shall we say. So we'll have to see how that comes out. But it is an EA game, so that could mean anything at this point. That's really it for Anthem. If anything, if this has piqued your interest or you've seen the gameplay, I would recommend trying the demo this weekend because it will be coming back out for everyone 
like open to everyone so yay for more server problems but it's free there's no point in not and if you even got a faint interest in it just download it and have a go the download for xbox which is what i played on was 23 gigs so download it now and then it might be up and ready for when you finish playing kingdom hearts because <laughs> that's out tomorrow goodbye internet i'm avoiding you till that's done but yeah thank you for watching i hope this helps you and i will see you around goodbye